Hello, I am Jane and I thank you so very much for taking the time and checking this out and sharing this moment with me. So I am a spiritual guide and I guide people through their ascension process as we up level and uplift and expand as the consciousness of love <laughs> and higher vibes come into our being and that's, that's what I do. So tonight I just got to celebrate, celebrate, yeah, I'll use that word celebrate, the full moon and it is in like the 29th degree of Libra and just it's a very interesting time because of the conversations that my friends and I got to have tonight and it was interesting because I'm noticing that when I get together in community and groups of friends and people and when we start talking about certain things like I start to download and like get all the information and 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 then I share it the way I'm trying you know the way I perceive it, the way I translate it and it's interesting because I'm noticing that when I do this like it doesn't matter who's in the group so many people are like, yeah, like I dig that, like I pick up on that vibe, like I get it. And it's been really super interesting because it's not like just the, the woo-woo crowd. It's like people will come up and be like, yeah, it's like what this says in the Bible. And I'm like, yeah, and it's being shown in light as opposed to maybe an old way of looking at parts of the Bible which were in judgment or fear, right? Like what the that last book revelation like sounds pretty awful actually um but i'm like no really it's all good so what we're going through now it's great it's fantastic we are revolving we're revolting we're changing we're becoming evolutionary magicians that's the way i see it um and then i have some that are i, I spoke with a group the other day and you know, one of the one of the dudes in the group was like, yeah, like the Pleiadians say this and this. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. Like, and at the same time he's saying that, someone was also comparing what I had said um, with, with verses in the, the Bible. And I feel like that is balance. Like that is, that's balance right there. It's being able to say like, this is the way I see a thing. And someone else saying, oh, this is how this looks for me. And someone else saying, and this is how it looks for me. And all, all of us say, yeah, and we're all in the same, like, alignment. You know, someone says, like, they they do, you know, this kind of work. And when I say, I do this kind of work. Oh, it's all, it's all the same. It's all, like, humaning. Um, which is, that was a really shitty example. We're all human. Anyway. Um, but I thought... You know, as all of the things are kind of coming into balance, and for me personally, what's coming up for me to have more balance with um, movement. I got back into like running on trails, and that just brings me so much joy. Um, and releasing some of the belongings that I have in exchange for money. <laughs> um, so there's that. Um, but I'm seeing something very interesting and this is what I wanted to share because it's all about the balance tonight so the so everything that I'm sharing is through my perspective take it or leave it so you know I see this like spiritual war and that sounds like such a scary word but it's not we'll just say it's like a game so there's like spiritual war game going on and I'm, I'm going to use directionally moving hands, but that's not a hierarchical thing. It's usually, it's just like a higher vibration of frequency. Anyway, so there's like spiritual war kind of going on here. And then there's this like middle space and then there's like here in our what we perceive as reality for like the collective human being. And then there's this other realm 
of um, the really heavy density reality of just like, ugh, everything is awful. And the mid, the second one, and there, there are more. I, I'm just wanting to share this. This one, but kind of like between the like super higher galactic kind of realm, spiritual stuff, and then the here stuff with like the Notre Dame burning down and people shooting each other and like really messed up shit. And then there's this middle aspect. <clears throat> and what I see this to be, and I'm like super grouping these, it's kind of like that, like, um, the deep state, like the, the, this whole other war where like the deep state and the other ones, um, are kind of having, they're kind of like going at it because there's like entities and the one entity is like, we're going to keep the veil so that these humans don't see what's actually going on up here. This looks like rules and regulation, control, the matrix, the particulate trails that they spray literally blocking the view. Like when you look up Buttercup and you just see those like lines that the planes leave and then they kind of dissipate but they make a webbing and you literally can't see beyond that which I get I'll just talk about that because this will go like really deep into the rabbit hole and I don't want to do that because this is about balance so those trails that are literally blocking the view human blocking the view with a web of cloud not real clouds are weird. And then you have like this higher realm where, you know, think like clear blue skies, you know, you can see the stars, you can see um, ships, uh, spaceships, like whatever, right? So the, the entities that are like running this program are like, oh, we have to keep this veil here. So yeah, we'll do clouds, we'll keep them drugged. Yeah, like let's keep taking the resources out of the earth and feeding it to them and don't let them get the photons from the sun because that's literally going to uplift their vibration. They start to ascend more. They start to um, tap into more of the collective consciousness. They're uplifted. They're, they feel better. We feel better. And I'm making this super basic. So when we don't get the photons right from the sun, it has a mental, physical, spiritual, and environmental shift. We don't get the medicine that we need to grow and thrive. Our physical body, our mental space, um, some of us might feel sad and down, um, literally our spiritual growth and development because we're made of light. We need the energy of the sun, the light. We're like a plant because we're earthling, so we have this elemental nature, so we actually need the light of the sun. So now for some, that veil, those clouds, will really bring them down. It makes them very sad. They don't want to get out of bed. They, it, it's a challenge for them. Or they focus on the, the, the trails that are being left and they get mad. How dare they do that? This is really messed up. It's kind of fucked up. They're poisoning us. They're poisoning me. They're poisoning the waters. Like, ah, right? Those will stay very heavy density and they won't be able to see through this. Now, if you're down here, you got this cloud cover, literally that veil of cloud, the literal translation, it's a hoot. Um, you got this and if you're down here, if you are doing something or being something that is a higher vibration above this, you will tap into this information, these photons, right? It's all light. And you'll be able to bring it down to receive it here. And 
the doing and being, it's like literally being in joy, being in love, being in peace, doing peacefully, doing secure things, doing loving acts, being in compassion, doing from a compassionate place, meditating, dancing, creating, art, music, play, laughter, storytelling, community, togetherness, sharing human experience, tribal living. It's, a, it's amazing how this works. When you do that, when we do that, then the information from the sun will be able, source, <laughs> in so many ways, um, can literally, it kind of like, we will still get all the, the, the codes through this veil. Because at that point, we are the higher vibrational match to the information that, that comes through the veil. When we do that, the veil by nature starts to dissipate. However, if we're under here and we're just focusing on the veil, and how annoyed we are and frustrated we are that we can't get the information above the veil, we will keep the veil there longer. Yep, because that's what physics does when you go into the quantum realm. The observer changes all that is observed. If you ignore it, be your natural human state of a sovereign being in love and light and in community, the information travels down through the veil, those aluminum particulates that are nicely being sprayed up in the air to divert our attention and piss us off and to keep us from seeing what we are ready to see or whoever is ready to see it. And that right there is finding a balance, is being able to be here tap into the stuff above the veil, the clouds, the, the things that suck that can bring us down, we tend to then grow through it and it literally goes away. There have been some terms that have been coming up in conversation that I feel like this is where I am seeing the next level of imbalance kind of come into play where we can start to really balance this out and it's the spiritual bypassing. And this may uh, trigger some people to even hear me talk about this. I'm coming from a neutral space. I'm offering my perspective. I've got this like baseline of love and I just want everything to be good because I see how it really is on the other side. So I just want to share the spiritual bypassing thing that keeps coming up. And it's like this notion of like, I'm just going to, you know, the, 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 the view is like, I'm spiritually bypassing. Oh, it's love and light. I'm not going to look at anything. It's all love and light. I'm not going to look at anything. And I understand how that perspective can be seen. Because if I am here looking at the veil, and then my neighbor is here, and they are being in joy and light and working with all types of beings, like, all types of beings, then literally the veil goes away and this starts to grow and create a culture of a, of a new earth. Now, again, this one, growing, connecting with source energy, ignoring the veil, the veil is dissipating for them. This group over here is saying, you're spiritually bypassing reality. You're not doing anything about anything. You're not changing anything. And this group can either go, um, hey y'all, we're all one, you're just playing a game where you're pointing at me and telling me that I'm not doing something right. I'm being the change I want to see in the world. Together, community, tribal one living. And the others that are forgetting that we're all one, we're all playing this game together are getting angry or frustrated or judgmental to those that are spiritually bypassing, right? Because they can't feel that joy. They're still in that heavier density. They're still in those traumas. They're still on their timeline and that's okay. So a lot of times if someone's here and they're being told that they're spiritually bypassing, 
they can start to get really defensive. What do you mean? No, I'm not. It is light and love. And, and then they get defensive, right? So then they go back underneath here. Then they're just playing that game. Meanwhile, keeping that veil above them without al allowing all of the source energy to flow freely up and down. As above, so below, if you allow it. If you choose it. If you make a conscious decision to be in the light. And it can be viewed as spiritual bypassing. For sure. I, I see that. Like, I totally see how that is. Because it's like, what are you going to do about it? You know, there are going to be some people that the only way that they're going to be able to do it is to just be the ones that are dancing and being goofy. You know, and that's fine. And there are going to be some that are going to be, you know, marching in parades with signs that say, we're ready for peace. You know, and then there are going to be some of us that just talk about how we are innately liberated. We just get to step into it and be it. Because the more we're under here talking about how we're not free, we're not liberated, this isn't good yet. We keep it there. It is the law of attraction. It is quantum physics. It is the universal law. So I just want to offer this in this day of balance. It is all good. If you are this, this person, this human experience, and today you're over here and you know you got all this free flowing energy whether those clouds still stay or not you still have that energy that can flow through right or you can be here and have a blocker up holding that into place and and trying to find reasons to dance in the dark but waiting for the light before you do so that didn't that made sense in my head i don't know if that made sense anyway so this Libra full moon, this blue moon, when things are in balance or really shoving it in our face to be like, y'all, you ready to get some balance? You got your chance. Here it is, y'all. Here it is. Because that's how I see it. Because I see the planets and the moon as like super personalities. And I just, sometimes they're just, well, they're just fun for me. Like I get like super like, Ew, when I think about the planets and all the galactic realms and all that. Because it's just more fun, y'all. Like, <sighs> I don't know if anyone on here is like that like has this experience but you know I I call in the planets and I get like super giddy like they feel like I feel they each feel different and they each have like a, a personality and they're like this one feels like my bro and this one feels like my cousin this was like total mother or whatever and you know and I get like all of this I don't even know. See, I just, I just got like literally sidetracked because I was like feeling all of that. I do that sometimes. Anyway, I'm digressing. So I'm just going to wrap this up. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to bring in a perspective from my lens and my reality on balance in this now where everything is encouraging us to find balance, which means that those that are here allowing this energy to flow freely, right? Ignoring the veil, not even ignoring it. It's aware, like I'm aware there's a veil there. I'm aware that they're spraying fucking particulates in the sky of aluminum. I'm aware that like, if, if they like literally just stopped sucking all of the resources out of the earth, like things would actually be okay. This whole like water shortage thing, when they pump all the shit out of the earth, they refill it with water. Hello, fracking. And then they don't have enough water for humans. That's crazy. Y'all, that's nuts. Like, seriously. And the entities that are doing that, they're the ones that are in that veil. That veil, that, that realm that I'm talking, that I was kind of talking about. I see them as like the players in that realm. And they've been like this like puppeteer. Like, I'm going to hold you here. We're going to call this bank. Yeah, and this one, we're gonna call this one government. Yeah, ooh, education. Yeah, ooh, pharmacy. Yeah, let's drug them. And they're like, you know, and like causing us to like do all these movements, and slowly we're like cutting them away. So then we're like, what? What do I do? I, I, I got to move on my own? Yep, that's, that's what we get to do. And so to me, it's like I was talking with my friends this evening about, you know, if we could 
like on a human scale revolt revolve go through our own human revolution and not that we have to fight like i don't have to physically go to the oil pumping and drill operations and like take them down with a hammer i can't do that however i can completely stop buying stuff for like 30 days if every human stopped buying stuff and it's not even, I mean, it's not even maybe up to us to stop buying. I mean, yeah, it is up to us to stop buying stuff, which would cut the media string, the media puppet where you have to like be plugged into the media and like, I need a bigger car. I need a bigger house. I need a new pair of shoes. I need another new pair of shoes. I need another new pair of shoes. And boop, 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 boop. Plugged in that program, not remembering that we already have so much already on this earth. Like y'all, there are a bajillion Walmarts in the world and you walk in one and there's like, th there's so much stuff. And then you go to the Walmart distribution centers and that's full of stuff. Amazon, full of stuff. There's stuff everywhere. If they stopped producing all the things that they're producing and that they is the people, the entities, it is not the people, it is the entities in this realm, the not the above or the below, but that like middle blah, blah, stuff, if they just stopped producing for a little bit, 33 days, 33 days of just stop producing. We would have enough. And there would be some people that would hoard. They'd be like, oh my God, they're not gonna make something plastic. I must buy all the water bottles ever. Ugh. <sighs> yep, there are gonna be people that hoard because they haven't activated the space of trust. They're missing trust in themselves that they got this and they by default then would not have trust in their neighbors and humanity and the community and like, I don't know, the family of tribal humans that we're all a part of. So if they just stopped producing all this stuff, like we have enough food, the earth is abundant, like, Ooh, we'd have to like, what? We'd have to rely on local farms? What? Yeah, you have to, you can't eat anything out of a package? What? Yeah, it's okay, you can do it, promise, it's all good. Like if we did that, we would shift our whole paradigm, first of all, in, in like um, this the strength of sovereignty, like, oh, I got this, yeah, like I can actually survive without eating you know, 20,000 meals a day full of all meat and wheat and dairy and sugar. Like, you'd be like, oh, and I feel really good by the end of it. Whoa, we're all like glowing a little bit brighter. We're all feeling a little bit lighter. We're all connecting with our food more with source because our earth is source as well. Without it, we, we wouldn't literally be here, y'all. Like, we are stewards of the land. The land is giving it to us all the time. We just get to take care of it. That's it. Like how easy peasy is that? And we had forgotten that because this entity, the puppet master has told us so many times that we must do and be all of these other things that are not really real to us. And so we've cut, we're cutting these strings, you guys, and we're doing it on the collective level. And when we, when we reach critical mass, shit's going to change. That's a new balance. And it may be happening in this very now. And it takes a choice. It takes a conscious choice to give a shit about yourself, your heart, your purpose, your truth, your path, and your reality. If you're having a reality that's stuck in the past, the super lower density, it's fine. However, if you want to change it, you literally can. And you have support around you. Promise, promise. And all we gotta do, all we get to do from my perspective is to like say a hard no. Like there are universal laws of consent and boundaries. This was discussed tonight too. It's amazing how all of this is coming up on this balancing night. But like, the the consent like 
you know, we have been taught in our human experience that someone can touch you and it's okay. Um, you know, go sit on Santa's lap even though you don't want to. That's fucked up because there's no consent there. That kid isn't like, oh yeah, I want to do it. Parents are like, go sit, let me take your picture. It's weird. Anyway, so there's this like universal law of consent. And when we breach that without receiving consent, we get pushed away. We get plunked down. Um, and also, universal law, if you say no, then it is honored. It's the power of knowing and intent that keeps those truths in our reality. If I feel like um, I'm not strong enough to say no, or I'm afraid to say no, then if I do say no, it's not gonna be like a hard no, it's not gonna be like a real no, does that make sense? Because it's all energy. So if my intention is like, I'm supposed to say no, but I really don't want to say no, then my no isn't going to like work. It's like if I take a, a drug and I think it's not going to work, it's not going to work. It's called a nocebo effect. Anyway, um, so <laughs> the tidbits. Um, so this consent, we, we really never gave consent to the earth. <laughs> the earth never gave consent. The earth never really got a chance to say, hey, stop poking me and sucking me dry. However, as stewards of the land, the earthlings that we are, the star seeds that we all are, the galactic beings that we all are, the, the energetic and intelligent realized deities that we are, the weird ones, that we all are. We are the voices for this earth. We are the ones that say no. We get to be the voice of this mother earth. I view the earth as like the mother ship. We are the breathing life force of the heartbeat in the universe. We are the stewards of it and we chose to come down here and play and be free and at this now, this timeline, we are here to do this together. Sovereignly being an aligned human, living in joy and processing the shit and finding balance for those that are mad at us if we are living in light and also still being able to live in light and honoring those that aren't and be like, that's fine if you don't want to. Like, it's totally cool. Like, I'm glad you're doing it because that means that I don't have to. I have gratitude for people that are still living in that like muck, heavy density because every time I see them, I don't judge them. I have to have so much gratitude that they're reminding me of one, where I've been and two, where I now am and how much better I feel, how much better my body feels, how much clearer my thoughts are, how much more joyful my heart is, how much more free I feel than I've, no, I've, I've ever felt in my life. So this day of balance, using spiritual bypassing as an example of how we can all grow through the veil or the particulate trails of aluminum or the, the puppet master that we are cutting the strings off of, the control, unplugging from the matrix, one paradigm seed at a time. That's what we're doing. And if you're watching this, then I'm guessing you are too. And if you're watching this and you're thinking of someone right now that, ooh, they could really use this, it would maybe be of service to gently share this with them, whether they, whether they accept it or not. Opening that door so that they know that wherever they are is okay, wherever you are, wherever I am, it is okay. And on the collective level, when we reach this critical mass and the scales tip, I know what side of the scale I'm going to be on. I know what side of the scale I'm on now. Like, I'm like, you know, I've got, I get moments, I get days. I mean, shit, the last video, I was like clearing out the, the imbalance that I was even having. And I know that I still get to do more of that because I'm a human. And I'm, instead of me dealing with all the past shit coming up to clear that muddy water cup, 
now I'll be able to be aligned with my clear channel so when I see the shit in front of me that I don't like, so I can see those heavy density cups in front of me, I can still maintain my clear alignment and maybe be able to pour my clear water cup in them, if in their cups, if that is, if the, if that is what they're requesting. I cannot just pour this liquid in because then I don't have consent. And if at any point someone's like, hey, I need your service, cool. My clear water is going to go into their muddy cups. And if at any point they want to want to stop, then they have the sovereign strength to say stop. No, that's the boundary I honor, right? And when we collectively can get into that space, the balance of life is so much more fun. Like, and then we then we really can just be the stewards of the land and still have like gasoline and cars and still have cars and technology and and water and and clean water and clear water and and like birds and bees and and children laughing and like people that have different amounts of color on their skin or different color skin can like all be like humans together because that is nature like it would be so weird to walk in a forest and only have oak trees y'all that would be weird if you walked into a forest and there was one kind of tree only and they were all the same size we would be like, this is fucking weird. Let me get out of here, right? Yeah, totally, I would. Because there would be like oak trees and like little this tree and little baby ferns and like moss and pine trees and like just a variety. Because that's how life grows. And we don't have to have all the resources being sucked out of the land so that we feel good enough anymore. So now we get to be the change and stop relying on the, all these in, these entities that literally have put holes into this beautiful Mother Earth to suck out what they say is valuable and then feed it to us in a way that poisons us and heavies our density and lowers our frequency so that we die sooner to become fertilizer for them to suck back out eventually. It's crazy. This is a time of finding a balance. So I wanted to share mine. So I hope it was of service. Um, I think that was all that I was gonna share. It was a lot that came out and this was, I'm looking at the time, it's kind of a, a long one. So thanks for, thanks for sticking out like half an hour of your, of your life with me with this beautiful hand painted. Look at that y'all. Like how cool is that? A friend of mine gave this to me. She was, um, a translator with the shamans in Peru while the ayahuasca ceremonies were going on and she gave it to me. I love art. Y'all don't even know. Anyway, um, so thank you very much for checking this out, for sharing this time with me. I love you all so very much, and I'm really, really grateful to be on this plane with every single human, whether they're under the veil, outside the veil, up above the veil, that plunk in and visit, wherever you are. I'm really grateful for you. You make the forest way more fun than if it were just a bunch of me's. I think I would only be fun for a little bit and I'd be like, I need variety, I need inspiration, right? So hopefully you are viewing me as somewhat inspiring in this forest of life that we're all a part of. Um, if there's any assistance or support that you would like in your ascension process, wherever you are, however you're feeling about the veil or the puppet master or the entities that are kind of doing the thing, or if you have some ascension support in the galactic realm of that spiritual war that is making its way down and showing us by having um, different patriarchal paradigm um, translations crumble, like Notre Dame, um, and some other things that have randomly been struck by lightning and burned down. Crazy! It's like, hey, Galactic Realm, y'all are doing a thing. Um, I always call it support because I know it's always in the highest good as we continue to move and evolve through everything. So if you, as you're moving and evolving and growing through everything, if there's any support or clarity you need or are looking for, I have a 
pretty broad perspective and I'm usually of service. Um, and if you want any of that information, click on the link below. So um, thank you again for checking this out. I appreciate it so very much. And I hope that, um, I hope your now is fantastic and in balance. So yeah, have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.